people didn't come from? Oh, we almost had everybody. Put on a bit of a show. Wondering what's he going to say next. Thank you, sir. What? Seeing microphone? Oh, I don't have one of those. In fact, I'm actually minus my seeing microphone, my webcam today. I brought it home yesterday because I thought I was going to use it and then forgot to bring it back. All right, if you are here online, let me know so I can mark you here, mark you her. Um, Piano Troy or Cooper last class. Algebra. So Kaylee, Sebastian, and Jordan, my 8A people, if you're online right now, let me know. Please leave a comment. If you can't, me send me an email or message me on Discord. You know, do, do something so I know you're here. Okay. Okay, it's your favorite time. When the air horns go off, I just don't have the sound. You're here, you're here. Oh, yeah, you left. Everybody, shut the door now? Yeah. Go. They get the hook out. Okay, visual aid. Great part of the Bad guy. Ah! Beautiful. I joked about that. Thank you for your hopes. Create output projector. Or a human. Okay. So yesterday we got on bulb, bulb app.com. Um, y'all get that taken care of at home or no? Okay, because I was gonna, I was gonna run through it again today. It's totally cool. Yeah. Okay. Get out your Chromebooks. You look very scared. Okay. Just cold. Yeah. That thing doesn't shut off. I mean, actually, it kind of is right. Now. Um, it's just quieter. Jordan, you're here. Wonderful. I'll mark you here. We're going to go to bulbapp.com. For those of you that are, were here yesterday but are online, um, the plan is to do the first half of class pretty much the same, but the second half will be different. Just so we know, I do not want to, nor can I, make sure you're here online for the whole class. Once you check in, you're on your own. You want to check out? Good for you. But at the end of the week, if you don't have anything to show for it, right, you don't have anything for your portfolio, that'll be on you, right? I have no interest in policing to make sure that once you check in that you're here, okay? Like, if you want to say, hey, I'm here, like Kaylee just did, and then check out, I won't know, and I don't care. I'll know because you didn't have anything at the end of the week, right? I, I just don't care. You do you, man. We are all free to make our own choices, but we are not free from the consequences of those choices. We have freedom of speech. We do not have freedom from getting punched in the face because we said something offensive, right? Yeah. Right? You have freedom to leave class right now because you don't like it, but you don't have freedom from me saying, you know, when the principal comes down here, I won't rat you out to begin with, but if he comes down here and goes, hey, where'd the kid go? I'll be like, yeah, they left. Right? Not because I'm a jerk, because my job's more important, right? You know what I mean? So as long as you're cool with that. Okay, Haley's here, Kaylee's here, and Jordan is here. We're going to bulbapp.com. Let me write that down. The first half of class will be similar to yesterday, and the second half will be different, God willing. Um, so Kaylee's here. Jordan's here. Haley's here. Uh, Sebastian, are you here? Uh, Cameron, Evan. Cameron, Evan. Yes? Hell yeah. Camden is here. And then Leah and Mac. Okay. Uh, what's your question? How do you say this? Oh, you mean like a, a like a bookmark? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Good idea. I like you guys. Usually control D is how you do bookmark, but it's bookmark. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, I hear you. I do the same thing. Yeah, typing is for the weak. We like buttons. Sebastian, if you're here, let me know. Okay? Send me an email, get me on Discord some way. Or, uh, or you know, type in chat. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Or Twitch, yeah. Twitch. Twitch is faster. It has less delay. Also, it has a bunch more emotes, and it's more fun. Um, especially once I get it up and running, like my main Twitch account. It has a lot more funny things on there and interesting things to do. My one I'm using right now is bare bones. Yeah, but if you want, you can also go to my main Twitch, which is just not a real math teacher without the underscore two, um, and it actually mirrors to that. I think that's how I can get around Twitch rules. Um, I'll probably get banned or something, but I'm streaming to that as well simultaneously as like a, a shared hosting. Right? Amazing. All right, so um, bulbapp.com. Bulb is in the light bulb app as an app. Um, <laughs> Uh, dot com. You think that's funny? Guys, PP yes. is a really funny word. Okay, APP. Right? Yeah, Bulb APP like, dot com. Like <laughs> I don't know how to think of that early. I am five. All right, so. Uh, yes. So, what we're going to do is get on there. If you've already done this again, at the end of class, we're going to be doing stuff that's different, God willing. So, just hang on or nope out. I don't care. Bulb APP dot com. All right. So, what we're going to do is uh let me share my screen i gotta fix everything because i closed out thinking i was done with class for the day I hate when that happens all right let me log out all right so you should get a page like this when you go to bulbapp.com um we've got login or sign up you want to go to sign up um the reason this is confusing at least what i think is because recently this website combined or at least merged a little bit with Google Classroom, and that's gonna make it easier for us to use, so I'm excited about that, but also it makes the sign-in process a little weird. Sometimes you'll type in your username or your email, your school email, and it'll say you've already signed up. And I apologize for that, okay? But hopefully, this will work. It's been working for the rest of the class today, more or less. Um, Kay Kaylee, that's what they're gonna do, and at the end of class, we're gonna do something new, okay? So if you wanna, you know, nope out for a little while that's totally fine have me on in the background or you just want to you know not be here i'm not going to police you guys that's fine right i'm just giving you another opportunity at the end of the class to write more in your portfolio it's up to you no no hard feelings kaylee all right so what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit go to your role and that's the first thing you're going to fill out you're going to click student is everybody there you raising your hand but you look like you're raising your hand i will call on you i swear to god all right so it says student make sure you're student Thank you for asking, Kaylee. Uh, you can do that. I don't think it'll make any difference. But I would prefer you to do student. It probably does change something that I'm not aware of. Um, do first name, last name. I know it doesn't have an asterisk by there, which means you're not required to fill it in. But please do that so I know who you are. Um, email. Use your school email because it should link to Google Class. Username. Make it something that I will recognize. Do not write King Crispy or 42069 sexy stuff. Like, I don't know who that is. Okay? I could guess, but I don't know who that is. So write down something. So if you're Mac Shelton, put Mac Shelton or put Mac.Shelton or Mac.S or Mac.S or some, I don't know, whatever it takes to make it so someone else doesn't have your username, do that and do it now unless you're already set. Okay. Awesome. Password that's between you and your God. Okay. Danny DeVito. What? Really what? Okay. Yes and no. First of all, let me make it clear. You're not in trouble. Um, I don't care if you use the F word in here as long as you're not using it in others. As long as you're cursing at the gods or math, that's fine. If your neighbors don't want you using the F word, I would hope you'd respect that, okay? But in general, I don't care. There are certain words we're not going to use, and I just want to be clear. You're not in trouble, okay? Um, slurs of any kind. Gay and retarded are both slurs. Not going to use them, okay? They're not as bad as the M word because there's one that I'll abbreviate and one that I won't, right? But they're in the same circle, okay? Not going to use them. Is that cool? Right, no big deal, man. Everybody's got to learn the first time. When I was your age, I used the word too, right? I just didn't know. And how would you know unless someone tells you? 
Password, again, between you and your god, Daddy DeVito. Uh, date of birth. Please do not put that you're born in 2020. I had one kid do that, Joshua Moore, a poor kid. If you do that, it thinks you're less than one years old. And so it says you have to sign a consent form. And here's what happened. I kid you not, okay? The man literally sent me a form asking for consent to, to call me daddy, okay? Because he needed parental consent, right? I'm going to say it again. He sent me a form asking for my consent to call him, for me to call him, or for him to call me daddy, okay? Are there other ways to say that sentence? Sure, but I think it's pretty funny, okay? So don't do that. Make sure you use your actual date of birth. Josh Morris, that kid. All right. Oh, he's uh, something, all right. He is. Institution name. Okay. That's Morris in high school. Put it or don't. I don't care. It doesn't have an asterisk by it. doesn't matter. Okay. Country, for the purposes of this exercise, you're going to be from the yeah. United Kingdom. Okay. Kidding. United States. Uh, prepaid promo code. We're not buying anything, so you don't need any promo codes to get like 50% off. Yay, capitalism. So don't worry about that. Uh, I want resources and information to get started on both. No, I don't. That's ads. That's what they want. They want permission to send you ads. Unless you're like super pro-capitalism, you don't want to click that button. Um, I agree to the terms and use, of use and privacy policy. Yes, you're going to click yes to that because, again, yay capitalism. Uh, then you're going to create an account. Are you all there? Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? People in the seats. We good? Yeah, I can smell Whoa. Sure, it's just not your thing? It's probably your thing. All right. So, um... Cool. People online, are we Gucci? We were pretty Gucci yesterday, I think, right? More or less, other than Sebastian, who, as far as I'm aware, is not here. Sebastian, if you are watching, if you can hear me, I'm already dead. No. Uh, I want you to message me on something. I don't care what. Get my attention so I can mark you here, okay? Um, after you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to get a page that looks not like this, but like the next one. Is everybody here? More or less on theirs. Not mine, but yours. Awesome. It's going to have your name here. It's going to give you an opportunity to put in an image. I put in my badge from Twitch. Um, that E, that curvy E, means exists in. When it has a line through it, it means does not exist. And the bold R means the set of real numbers, which we'll learn about this year. So it means isn't real, essentially. Um, which goes with my thing, because I'm not a real math teacher, because I don't have a math degree. Um, if you click here on add cover image, you can add a cover image. If you're one of those photographers that took pictures of uh, sunflowers this summer, Right? This is your time to shine. If you didn't, you can go here to web search and use Unsplash, which is a free photo um, uh, stock image dump, right? So you can find quality images for free. And you can type in sunflowers. Now, every time I've done this today, it didn't work. It gave me 3,000 results. Oh, it gave me one result. Sunflower. There we go. 3,000 results. Um, but none of them are visible because my computer's being weird right now. I don't know why. So look at these quality images. Amazing. Amazing. Looks like the Midwest. All right, so if we exit out of that, your options will be to create page or create collection, these blue buttons right here. A collection is just a folder, okay? So this is my main page, so I created a collection. I called it Thought Problems. Thought Problems. We all got them, right? And then inside there, I created a page. If you click Thought Problems, right? If you click it, if you touch thought problems, there you go. You'll see that I have thought problems at the top, and I added a little like thing here. I call it a little like caption, 99 problems. You get it? Get it? Get it? Thought problems. I got 99 of them. Thank you. You are the only one that understood. All right. So going down here, I added some pages. I have one that I published so people can see, and I have one that's not published. It's a draft. Okay. Mac, what's going on? You don't, because it's mine. This is my portfolio. I'm showing you an example. Good question. Yeah, it's a starter page for you guys. So you can rename it, make whatever you want, or you make a new one, okay? So this is what your portfolio might look like after this week. I did one for the 7 plus 7 equals 2 problem, and I've done one for the 9, 16, 25, 43 problem. It's what we did on stream yesterday if you were there, okay? If you weren't, no big deal. So I click this page inside this folder, my thought problems folder. This pops up. I have a nice little banner here where I found a stock image and zoomed in all the way so you can see the pixels. That is a pro photography move. Okay. Um, gave it a little title and then zoom down. I'm going to read this because that's what you're supposed to do in the first week, right? The teacher reads you the syllabus and reads a bunch of stuff that you can read yourself. And I want to feel like a real teacher. For this. I'm going to read it. Here's what you might have written about the 7 plus 7 equals 2 problem. Okay. This is the kind of writing I'm looking for. 
I don't want something that you would like write on Instagram with no capitals, no periods, and any of that stuff. Make it look good, okay? And if you don't, that's fine. But when we meet, right, we're going to treat that as a rough draft. We're always going to treat these as rough drafts. And I will say, hey, do I want to work in the grammar, punctuation, et cetera, right? I will only mention that if that's the last step. If there's other stuff you can do in the meantime, I'm going to assume you know that you can work on grammar and punctuation, right? And I'm going to give you other ideas, okay? So what I wrote is, what might first seem like a mistake can lead to much more interesting thinking. That was my little title I put here. I made it bold, and then I clicked this T, and I clicked H3 to make it a different type of uh, heading. You can also change the font right here. So what I did is I highlighted it, and whenever you highlight text, this pops up. T is for the text size, so like the font, right? You can also change the heading type, color, et cetera, et cetera, make a bullet list, add in a link. I'm not sure what this does. Comment. Ooh, you can comment specifically on something. Kind of like, have you guys done comments on like Google Docs? Right, you highlight and comment. Hell yeah. Okay, so what I wrote is I said, I be and this is from the perspective of the teacher. You'll write it from your own. I began class asking this question, referring to this guy right here, 7 plus 7 equal 2, right? While it's not a very good one, it's a hell of a lot better than most questions that get asked in a math class. After my students got past the fact that 7 plus 7 does not, in fact, equal 2, here's what they came up with. And I wrote down some of the stuff. So it says, what if plus, the plus sign doesn't mean what we know it means? Perhaps it means we are to combine the sevens to make a two, right? You got two sevens, right? Then you turn them around, right? You got a two. Um, because that's confusing, not only did I write about it, but I made a video. Hopefully it will show itself. So far, it's not. It was doing it for every other class. Let me refresh real quick. It's such a good video you have to see. Made it like two again. You can do it on your phone. Oh, there it is. Check it out. Beautiful. Now you can upload your own videos that are better, like through an actual camera. I just did it on my. If I'm gonna erase both the sevens, I'm not gonna erase that. Look. Oh, it makes a two. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. No smiling in math class. All right. Next thing. Alternatively, one might think that each seven is its own idea or entity. One idea plus another idea is two ideas. Or maybe those sevens aren't really sevens, but they're just messy looking ones, right? I got that one a lot. Okay? You guys all thought you were geniuses. Shout out to Troy. Then again, if it's seven o'clock and seven hours pass, well, then it's two o'clock, isn't it? You don't have to be as cute as that. Okay? You don't have to do that. Okay? Um, but I put a nice little picture of a clock, and look, it even says seven o'clock. Worth a million points. Instant A. Plus. Remember, everything's points don't matter. I say, you got a hundred extra credits. Everything's made up in the point. That's math. Uh, moving down. Um, this one I thought of while I was, it was like, bam, I thought of another one. This is why you should write stuff down even if you don't like the problem originally. You might think of a good solution. I would encourage you to talk to friends, family, um, whoever about this problem. If they think of something cool, write it down. Take credit. If you want to like, be like, oh yeah, oh, Haley Britt came up with it. I don't care. But if you want, that's nice. Either way, you're going to get credit. You can explain. I did it too. Seven days plus seven days equals two. Change the unit. I put a little calendar here. It says, don't wait for a new day, new week. Fire! Okay, down below, you'll see that there's a little spot where you put comments. Um, this is great. That's one of the things I like about this portfolio is that it has a comment section. You will get points, and again, everything is made up of the points don't matter, but it, again, it counts towards your grade if you're leaving comments on other people's stuff. Now, don't treat this like Instagram, where every time someone posts something, you're like, you're so pretty, right? And then they comment back, no, you, right? Like, you can do that, okay? I don't care. I don't understand your weird customs, but you can do that if you want, but it won't count towards your grade. You aren't going to hand me that portfolio and be like, check it out. you pretty. Oh, thank you. No, right? We're not going to have that exchange, right? If you move the conversation forward, and make sure it's the conversation that they're talking about, be on topic, right? If you're asking a good question, answering a good question, making a great comment about the topic, that will count towards your grade. So I would encourage you to look at other people's posts. Not only so you can get grades for the comment, okay? I wish I could just get rid of the grades, but because you might learn something on accident, God forbid. Check them out. After you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to hit like, of course, because you love me. Don't like your own post. Just bad form. Hit publish, and it'll ask you a bunch of questions. 
Visible to the public, visible to just a private link, right? If it's something personal that you only want me to see or only a certain person, do private links so not everybody can see. Okay? Um, you can search for a particular user and send it directly to them so only they can view it. So if you know a friend or whatever, and you're like, man, they really need to get some points in this class, um, you can send it to them and be like, hey, dude, comment on my thing. Right? Here's a question you can ask. Okay? Help a brother out. Uh, here's the private link in, in general. Um, you can copy that from the, clip, the clipboard. Um, you can put it in different collections, different folders. If I have an algebra folder, and I think it's in full, I can put algebra. Um, title, summary, blah, 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 blah. At the bottom, it has a thing called a template. So, for instance, if I'm an educator, if I am, uh, not really happy. If I went on TV, um, I might make a template of 10 questions. Like, I might make a page and have 10 questions on it. Make a template, and then you can copy that and make your own page from it, right? It'll take that page and copy it into your portfolio, and then you can answer the question, right? That's why that might be useful. Would you use it as a student? I don't know. It creates. Once you're done, you can hit publish or unpublish. If you hit unpublish, it won't appear to the public yet. It'll just be a draft like you saw earlier. That was the page I had, right? Or you can hit publish, and now everybody's going to see it. So if you go back to your previous page, ta-da! There's my folder, thought problems, and inside it is this guy, and it's published. Whereas this is not yet. Once people have seen it, there will be a little eyeball down there, and it'll tell you how many people have seen it. There have been a lot of people that have seen it recently. Where? I swear. Um, but because I hit publish, it refers. This little presentation thing up here, which I haven't messed with, but I'm imagining it kind of like Google Slides, right? God. You guys can figure it out. You know the TikToks, right? You know how to do TikToks and all that. You're very texting, right? How do I make a bookmark? All right. Anyway, up here I can see what people have done. I got a notification. I liked it. That's nice. Nice. Questions on bulb? No? Okay, fantastic. So, let's talk about the problem we worked on yesterday that some of you guys didn't really get a chance to do. You are allowed to repeat answers that you heard yesterday or you heard someone else do or whatever and contribute your own. Yes. Yes, you can make your own problem. That's a great example. So if you wanted to, you can make a post about that. Or in the 7 plus 7 equals 2, you'd be like, I thought about this one. And maybe 4 plus 4 equals 2 actually gives you more interesting solutions. Right? Why did I choose 7 plus 7? I thought of a clock. Right? But maybe 4 plus 4 actually ends up being more interesting. Sure. Right. Whatever you want to talk about, man. Seriously. And again, what we're into is not right answers or wrong answers. We're, inter in we're interested in interesting answers. 7 plus 7 equals 14 is right, but is it interesting? Not really. 7 plus 7 equals 2. Is it right? No. But is it interesting? Yeah, because it starts a conversation. That's what we want here. So ever, if you ever raise your hand or don't raise your hand, whatever you do, talking to me, right, providing an answer, don't worry about whether it's right or wrong. Worry about whether it's interesting or not. If you're not sure if it's interesting, share it anyway. We'll find out. Okay. That said, let's do this. We're, uh, people online, we're going to look at the problem we did yesterday real quick, make some points that we didn't, hopefully, and then hopefully jump to a new one. I only have one class that jumped to the new problem today because we kind of got stuck on this which I'm totally fine with because we had some really good conversations. So yesterday we did this problem, 9, 16, 25, and 43. I gave you four numbers and we asked, I think the question almost every class came up with, with a little nudging from me, because I like asking this question about this problem, is which one doesn't belong and why. Go. 16 is even. What else? Give me some more reasons. Nine is single, just like Jamie. I made that joke last hour. It was funnier when she was in here. All right. And then you followed up with a, just kidding, nine out of ten. That's what you are. So pretty. No you. All right. What else? Don't even look like you're raising your hand. I will call on you. Yes! Yeah, non-square. 43 isn't square. What do we mean by that? So, some of you might know that when you write three with a little two at the top, right, we call that three to the second power. Another way to write that is three squared, right? We say it like that. You know why we call it three squared? That's true, but why do we call it squaring it? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. 
right? So if you have a square that has an area of nine, then you know that the sides must be what? Three by three, right? So when you put three on a square, you get nine for the area. That's what we call squaring it. Three cubed means that you're putting it on a cube. So maybe, let me zoom in a little bit. The width might be three. The height would be three, because again, it's a cube, right? They're all equal, right? It's not a rectangular prism or anything. And then the width would be three, which means the volume would be 27. Okay? Now, I want to go deeper on this a little bit, because this leads to a good conversation. I've mentioned this before in here, I think, or at least I've mentioned in another class. I've got to teach this, you know, I teach four geometry classes, one algebra class every day. And because of the current setup, I teach it somewhat twice in a row, two days in a row, right? Eventually, we'll do different stuff every day. So I might have already said this, but in a normal math class, you're talking about a watermelon problem, right? And they, at the end of it, you're like, oh, then there's 10 of them, right? And your teacher marks it wrong because, no, it's 10 watermelons. You have to use your units, right? And it pisses yes. me off. Now, yeah. there is a reason to include units, but it's not that, right? Here's the example, right? If... I'm talking about math to you, okay? I don't have to use his name every time I talk about him, right? As long as you know I'm talking about math, I, uh, Mac, I can use he, him, whatever his pronouns are, right? And you'll know who I'm talking about. If I say 10, there's 10 of them, and we were just talking about watermelons, what do you think I was talking about? Watermelon. Now, if I know what you're talking about, and you know what I'm talking about, we have what's called an understanding, which is the whole point of this freaking class. So I'm not going to mark you wrong if you didn't write a watermelon. As long as I know what you're talking about, we're good. Now, sometimes it's good to include units because it shows understanding. If I say Mac, because I just met him, it shows that I actually know his name. He's not just some kid, right? You know, like, hey, Fort, like trying to you know, play it off like you know his name or whatever. Yeah, man. Yeah. If I want to show that I understand his name, I'll give an example of him and I'll use Mac in my example in class. Show is understanding. It's showing my work, my process. That's what you're going to do in your portfolio. Now, here's an opportunity to show some understanding. Maybe something you don't quite understand yet. So it might be an opportunity to learn too. Check this out. If this square isn't three by three, but instead three feet by three feet, we know to square means times it by itself, right? Yeah. Three squared is nine. 5 squared is 25. More importantly, 3 squared is 3 times 3. 5 squared is 5 times 5, right? 4 squared, 4 times 4. Yeah. My question is, what is feet times feet? Go. Either you don't care. Feet times feet is feet? Is 3 times 3, 3? I know what you're thinking. Okay, what do you think now? 3 times 3 is 3 squared. 4 times 4 is 4 squared. Also a fun game. 5 times 5 is 5 squared. What's feet times feet? Take a guess. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't see it yet. He doesn't see it yet. Show it to him. Feet squared. 3 times 3 is 3 squared. 4 times 4. Feet times feet is feet squared. Hot dog times hot dog is hot dog squared. X times X is X squared. With me, small one of seven. Anything times itself is itself squared. Three feet times three feet. Well, three times three is nine. Oh, hey, Troy, you're an hour late. You're supposed to be here in third or uh, fifth hour. We're in algebra right now, bud. But it's okay. I'll mark you here. I'll go back. Feet times feet is feet squared. So this isn't nine feet. It's nine feet squared. Why? Not because someone told you. We're talking about area. you got to remember to include feet squared, right? That's what they do, and they think they're big brain playing, right? We're teaching. You know what you're right? You just do. If you forget it, you get minus a half or more. And here, if you don't know what you're writing and why, don't do it. Why would I like you to write this? Because you got to include watermelons. No. Because here, it's an opportunity to show your understanding. If you don't take that opportunity, that's fine, right? But maybe it's an opportunity for me to teach. Only write what you understand. 
And if you do, write it because it shows that you are. That's the point of portfolio. So that's nine feet squared. Not because someone told you it had to be, because it's area, but because it makes sense. Three feet times three feet is three times three, which is nine feet times three, which is feet squared. Here, three feet by three feet by three feet. Three feet times three feet times three feet. Three, three, three makes 27. Feet cubed for volume. And it makes sense. Because it's a cube. Hell yeah. Glad you're here, Troy. Missed you. We've had one person think of a good reason why 25 doesn't belong, other than the fact that it's the only number funnier than 24. I challenge you to try and find a reason, okay? Ask your friends, ask your family, yeah. And do more with this. Write about this. Put something in your portfolio this week. It's going to be a test drive on Friday to go through the portfolio and have a conversation with you. No pressure. You know, if it's empty, it's fine. But if you have stuff in your portfolio, we can practice having that conversation, right? Get some feedback early, right? There's no due dates other than the end of the semester, right? I would write stuff down even if you're not sure you want it in your portfolio, because if you have it, you might remember two months later, oh, I got a good one for 25 or something, right? Yo. You're onto something, man. Take your time. Can anybody help them out? Well, by three. They're all divisible by three. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's and this is why we, com we have communication. This is why we do comments, That's right? A good one, actually. Right? It is. It's an excellent one. That's actually what the other girl thought of a couple hours ago. Well done. I could not think of one. Nice up. job, kid. All right. The digits here. Someone noticed in the previous class that 8 and 7 are missing. There's a zero here. All the other digits are there, and that led them to start noticing that there's a three here, a six there, and a nine there, but there aren't any divisible by three digits here. Hell yeah. It is. And not because it's like, oh my god, he discovered, you know, another planet or something. Right? It's not like smart because of that. It's smart because no one saw it. It's interesting. Oh no, chicken. I don't know who you are, chicken. I can help you. I hope. Don't worry about it. We'll get it figured out. This week's all, everything's made up in point. So, that's why these problems are interesting. Get you to think. And it's not just, you know, oh, we're doing puzzles today. It's a blow-off day in math class. No. You are going to work and learn and think more in here than you ever have before. And it's going to get harder. They're going to be more interesting. They're going to be more complex. We don't have time for it today, I think. We're going to run out of time. But I have more, okay? And eventually, we'll start leading to actually what we're learning, you know, what we're supposed to learn. Yes, okay? Oh, Sebastian. Oh, hey, Sebastian. I'll make sure I mark you here. We will figure that out. Don't sweat it, man. I know you're here. We'll figure it out, okay? Thank you for telling me, though. Oh, chicken. That's right. I actually knew that. Um, so that's the plan. How we're going to roll. But here's how this works. You are required to actually think. You don't, the whole class falls apart. I can't do what I'm trying to do with no homework, no grades, essentially, unless you're actually going to do it too. They will fry my ass. Okay? I'm sticking my neck out really far because I believe this is what it's good for you and best for you. Please don't leave me Okay? It's going to be a great year. You can already tell. Oh, hi. Thank you. You must have uh, followed on Twitch. Thanks for the follow. Sorry to have a face came on today. I left it at home. Are you one of my students or just some random dude? You don't have to respond. Feel no pressure. All right, so that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. I think it's a good opportunity to practice writing about something, right? Even if it's off topic, right? We definitely got off topic here. That's okay. If you see beauty or interest in math and it's related, get it out there. I talked about the pronouns thing today. Lord knows that's bigger than math, right? I did that on purpose. If you want to write about stuff like that, go for it. Connect it. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Tomorrow we'll be live. Thanks for being here, guys. I mean that in more than one way. Leah, you doing okay?
You doing okay? Yes. Wonderful. I'm glad you're here. Nice cup. All right, guys, I'm closing down the stream because all I have now officially is a study hall, and then we're doing early dismissal stuff. So I will see you all later.